Glen Alecky, nine year old rye wood finish. Looking forward to checking this one out. Let's taste it. Well, hello there, folks. Welcome back to the Whiskey Friend with me, Alan. Here we are, back on the single malts. Trying something a wee bit different this time. I'm doing the Glen Alecky. I'm a wee bit of a fan of Glen Alecky at the minute. I'm loving what they're doing. I'm loving all their experimenting. And this is no different. Uh, I've made a couple of purchases recently. Uh, I've bought the nine year old, this one, rye wood finish. And I've also bought the eight year old Covo rye quarter casks. So I'm looking forward to trying this one as well. But I'll do that a different day. Just going to concentrate on this nine year old. Uh, it's nine year old, 48% ABV, non till filtered, natural colour, uh, all great things. And it's it's been through. In fact, I'll get some of There's a lot of information on the box. I'll just read this off the box quite quickly. This gorgeous golden malt has been matured in premium American oak barrels with an additional maturation period in bold and punchy rye casks. The different toasting and charring levels of these casks combined with the rye influence adds a rich and spicy twist to the classic Glenallachy style. Okay, a couple of things there. Uh, we have American oak barrels, so it's matured in American oak and it's... Got an additional period in some punchy Kentucky rye casks. Not too sure what that means. All of I know is that the casks are for Kentucky. But it's punchy um, and they're bold. So we'll find out. Hopefully that will transfer into the taste and the smell. Um, yeah, no interesting little get up. I've, see, I've just purchased it. £56. Might seem a lot for a nine year old, but it's Glen Alecky, it's something a wee bit different. So hopefully I'm going to nose it, give a quick nose, taste, score it, conclude, let you know how it is. So, without any further ado guys, I'm going to smash into this. So on the nose, I've had it poured about 20 minutes now, and I've had my trusty coin cover it up. It's coin 92 today guys. Yes, I have a little number of them left. Uh, if you know what you do, I'll drop a link into the description, guys, just to let you know how you get a hold of them. So, if you want to go there, then feel free. Coin 92. Yeah, so, 20 minutes. So, this is a, I've had a couple of pours out of it. This is my second pour, so let's crack on with the nose. Okay, so straight up front on the nose, it's, it's spicy. Loads and loads of honey. Lots and lots of honey. The spices, I think, are cinnamon. Definitely some nutmeg. You've got your usual there. You've got some vanilla and toffee. But it's like a... It smells like a thick toffee. Real, real nice. But it's lots of honey and lots of spice up front. A little bit fruity. I think there's a little touch of fruit in the background here. So it's got a real nice overtone of fruit, which is definitely orange. Don't think it's a juicy orange though, I just think it's just a nice, nice orange. Maybe some orange peel. Maybe some apple, maybe some pear. But yeah, there's a nice little fruit note in, in the back there. But all up front is the spice and the honey and the toffee. Sets me up nice to taste it. Colour wise, it's a real nice, it's as, probably as light a uh, Glen Alecky as I've ever seen. Um, nice gold colour, nice golden, light gold, real nice. Let's taste it. Slanch. Okay, folks, on that first sip, first thing that's really prominent is it's very, very spicy. Real intense spiciness. Cinnamon and nutmeg, big up front. On the arrival, as it goes through the arrival into development, it's keeping the spice, the spices throughout, but the honey comes in. Butterscotch, real, real nice butterscotch coming in, which I tend to find in a lot of bourbons. I pick up some butterscotch, 
don't tend to get a lot of butterscotch in in whiskies. I usually get them in uh, the usually American oak casks. Usually a little bit of butterscotch. Nice big butterscotch note here. Vanilla toffee. It's almost the toffee is almost like a treacle. It's like a sticky, real sticky, sticky toffee. And the fruits are there, but the fruits are a little bit stewed now, mixed with the spices. They're a little bit stewed. Maybe a stewed apple. Maybe a. The orange has gone a little bit juicier now, so there's definitely a nice orange note there. Let's try a second sip. Okay, folks, on that second sip, it's just an intense, it's just as powerful, so the intensity stays throughout. The spice is getting spicier. Nutmeg, cinnamon. Now I'm picking up some clove. But the honey is big, the butterscotch is big. All the flavours, there's lots of big flavours. There's not a lot of flavours, but the ones that are there, they're big. They're pretty well balanced. Mouth feels really nice. It's got a nice medium viscosity in the mouth feel. Lovely. Yeah, that orange is definitely there, heading towards the finish. Just a real, real nice. Yeah, so I love what Glenallachie's doing. They're doing a lot of experimental wood. This is nice. As I say, it's probably the first whiskey that I've tried that said any rye wood in it uh, and I'm liking it I love the spice and uh, everyone knows I'm a big sherry lover but if there's no sherry in this then the next thing the next best thing for me is spicy I like a nice hot spicy whiskey and th this is living up to this it reminds me very much of the Aaron Bothy again that was an American oak and it was really really spicy so it's very very reminiscent to that um, but let's let's crack on to the finish guys Okay, folks, on that finish, still intense. As, you, as you're heading to the finish, it's, it's still spicy. Picking up some clove, cinnamon, nutmeg, all the usual spices are there. A little bit of dryness so heading towards the finish. It's not oaky, but it's just a real nice little dry note. The mouth kind of dries out, and then it kind of, as it heads towards the end of the finish, the orange comes in, so it kind of, Juices up again a little bit, the orange and the apple, citrus is there, but the honey and the butterscotch, uh, everything's still. So this is pretty well balanced, pretty much from the nose to the palate to the finish. Everything kind of hangs around a little bit. The only downside possibly is the finish, is that the finish kind of drops off a little bit quicker. I think that might be something to do with the age. Uh, it's still quite young. Don't get me wrong, it's a real, real nice whiskey. It'll give you a, a nice experience. If you're looking for something to hang around and last and have a long finish, this, this is not that one. This is definitely a medium finish, but it's all compact, it's all well balanced. It is, it is a nice finish without being a long finish, if that makes any sense. But it's nice, it does a job. It's a nice sipping whiskey. I could see this easily becoming an everyday sipper. Um, it's light, it's spicy, it's fruity. Nice, not complex, not co overly complex. It's a nice, simple whiskey. Um, but other than that, me, that's me pretty much. Score wise, what would I score it? Uh, this would easily be an 88 out of 100. Uh, nice to try the rye finish. Say it's the first whiskey that I've tried that's been finished in rye wood. Um, definitely makes it spicier uh, and, and that goes well with me I like a spicy whiskey um, be interesting to see if it gets any older they do this with any older whiskies um, but the younger stuff at the minute it's it's working quite well but that's pretty much that's another one done guys uh, Glen Alecky 9 year old rye wood finish over to you guys Drop in the comments, have you tried the rye wood? Have you tried anything, any scotch that's in, finished in a rye wood? Do you think the rye wood works? I think it goes quite well. Uh, it's just a really, really nice spicy whiskey. So I think it complements the ex-bourbon and the rye wood. Tend to go really, really well together. Um, but yeah, no, super. Nice, solid dram. Happy I've bought it. Happy I've tried it. Looking forward to seeing how it develops going through the bottle. Um, but again that's me if you've liked the video don't forget to smash those thumbs up buttons guys 
if you've subscribed thanks very much if you haven't you may want to hit that subscribe button just down below just a friendly reminder it doesn't cost you anything guys it's completely free and you're helping the channel massively on its way to the 2k you can catch me on all the other social media platforms i'm on facebook you can catch me on twitter you can catch me on instagram and you can get a hold of us on patreon so feel free guys to go and pop along have a look at the patreon page uh, and that'd be fantastic and that's me i'm alan until the next time pleasure is always in the drinking see you all soon bye bye